Kevin Durant, 2007 Combine. Combine time here, Raptors HQ, little gym scenario. Thought I'd get a quick workout in and also talk a little bit about the one and only NBA Draft Combine, which um, is one of my least favorite events during the NBA season because uh, there's nothing quite like talking about players with wingspans and reach and height with socks and shoes. Um, that obviously that suddenly changes what was a year, two, sometimes four years of college performance, and you see all of a sudden all these NBA prospects stocks jumping up and down. So we're obviously, you know, that that piece of the pie has uh, has just been completed, and we're uh, talking about all of a sudden a guy like Deion Waiters jumping up, or a uh, you know certain players that didn't test out maybe as well falling, and honestly. This is the part that infuriates me. As a big college ball fan, I end up watching you know, so many games each season, and you get a good feeling for players during that time period. I also think there is some value from the individual workouts, which we attend, of course, each year. The Raptors, you know, a lot of the time, run these specific drills where you see you know, how guys react in certain defensive circumstances, um, in, in different offensive sets, and I think that's a lot more telling than obviously these combine situations, which you also have no one participating in, unfortunately, anymore. Uh, this year you had 11 sort of, of the top guys that pulled out of the drills. Some didn't, and um, I think it's always funny to me to see the media's reaction because some of the media favorites end up being these guys that actually participated in the workouts. Not because necessarily they're the best product, the prospects or they stood out, but that's the way it goes. You know what else I hate about the Combine? The rumors. I touched on it a little bit, but I mean, the Dion Waiters thing that blew up was kind of hilarious to me because we're talking about a player who, honestly, I didn't think was going to be a lottery pick. Suddenly a lottery pick, and now people are talking like he might even be sort of on the higher end, and the Raptors come into play. Obviously, with Waiters not participating in any of the drills, suddenly there's uh, all this talk of you know, him having a promise, and this happens every year, but this is extremely early in the process. Most of the time when we see promises, it's sort of later on when uh, individual team workouts have begun and maybe a week or so before the draft, you'll hear something, a guy like Rodney Stuckey, a perfect example, promise rumors start, and he's, you know, people are wondering why is he not participating or why is he canceling workouts. But waiters so early, I thought was a little bit premature, especially because once the rumors started flying that it was the Raptors, for it to be the Raptors, that would A, have to mean that they're not moving the pick, either they're not moving the pick and they're, they're indeed set on waiters, or that uh, another team is set on waiters and that's sort of going to be their trade partner if indeed we're talking about Rudy Gay, Andre Iguodala, that sort of thing. And sure enough, when the, uh, the media talked to Brian Colangelo at the Combine, he denied that waiters, you know, that there was a promise to waiters. But honestly, this is one of these situations that I always find pretty hilarious and uh, it always happens around the uh, time of the combine. So who has impressed me from this whole combine first couple days of testing? Nobody. I mean, Damian Lillard, huge fan of, and it was great to see him that he participated, went one-on-one, -on -one, and you know, he heard lots of rave reviews. But I kind of expected that. This is a player that was quite dominant in college, one of the more, most efficient players in the nation. And a player that, you know, I'm hoping uh, is definitely in the, the Raptors' sights if they indeed keep that uh, pick at eighth. Now, outside of that, you heard some talk about Perry Jones because he participated too. Uh, some other guys that uh, didn't participate, we talked about uh, waiters already. But it's just, there's so it's so hard to really grab a lot of stuff out of this. From our, a Raptors fan's perspective in terms of is there someone now who should be in consideration that wasn't before? That's just not really the case. What will tell us a lot more? the individual workouts when players come up. They're slated to start quite soon, so excited about that as the HQ team will be there to uh, provide all the usual coverage. In the meantime, I'm getting back to the gym, getting back to the workouts here, because this, uh, this has been a pretty good session tonight.